Prince Harry, aka Henry Charles Albert David, was once the fifth in line to the British royal throne, and is youngest son of Prince Charles and Princess Diana. People have a fascination with conspiracies, and as a result, Harry's paternity has been called into doubt over the years by those who believe that his biological father is James Hewitt, who worked as Princess Diana's riding teacher. Many people who believe in conspiracies focus on the fact that Harry and Hewitt both have red hair, as well as the fact that they are virtually indistinguishable from one another in appearance. Now that we have that out of the way, shall we unpack this thing? The Affair Princess Diana began an affair with Hewitt the Horse Whisperer in 1986, barely two years after Prince Harry was born, and it lasted five years. During a BBC Panorama documentary in 1995, Princess Diana acknowledged to having an affair with Hewitt. Meanwhile, in an interview, Hewitt remarked, it was never her desire to fall in love with me, and it was certainly not mine to fall in love with Diana, but it happened as a result of circumstances. It's hard to judge how physical she wanted the relationship to get. And I'm not going to say whose fault it was, because it developed and was mutual. Ken Worf, Diana's former bodyguard, wrote in his book Diana, closely guarded secret that the duo regularly met in an ancient home in Devon belonging to Shirley, Hewitt's mother. For what it's worth, Hewitt and Diana appeared to be in love, and the man himself claims that they fantasized about spending the rest of their lives together before breaking up after the affair became public. Although neither of us said anything, I believe we both understood the situation was hopeless, Hewitt explained. It became clear to me that she wanted to complete the relationship. But it just fizzled away. Hello. Thank you for considering subscribing to Fascinating Facts. If you love learning new things and having your mind expanded with interesting and unique information, then this channel is for you. By subscribing to Fascinating Facts, you'll have access to a wealth of knowledge and entertainment from historical events and scientific discoveries, to intriguing stories and cultural insights, we've got it all covered. Please help us get discovered and grow. Now, let's get back to the video. The Denials while the royal family traditionally follows the mantra never complain, never explain, there have been persistent efforts over the years to put an end to suspicions regarding Harry's parentage. Hewitt told the Sunday Mirror in 2002, there is absolutely no chance that I am Harry's father. I can categorically state that I am not. To be sure, the red hair is identical to mine, and others have said we look similarly. I've never promoted these similarities, and despite spending a long time with Diana, I must clarify unequivocally that I'm not Harry's father. He was already a child when I met Diana. Diana's bodyguard, Ken Worf, claimed in his book Diana, closely guarded secret in 2002, Diana was enraged by the false allegations regarding Prince Harry's paternity that still circulate. The farce should be stopped right now. On September 15, 1984, Harry was born. Diana did not meet James until the summer of 1986, and the red hair that gossips adore is, of course, a Spencer trait. Diana's butler, Paul Burrell, stated in 2017, I never heard anyone in the royal family mention James Hewitt being Harry's father since we all knew the truth. It's entirely fabricated. It was simply Harry's red hair, but all Spencers had red hair. The verdict. So, Despite the obvious physical similarity, Prince Harry is almost certainly not Hewitt's son. Please keep in mind that royal biographer Penny Gina stated in 2003 that the news of the world tested Prince Harry's hair and found it to be negative, take this with a grain of salt. In February 2003, the news of the world even had strands of Harry's hair DNA tested, Dura wrote. And you can bet we'd have known if Harry had been revealed to be James Hewitt's son. What do you think? Leave us a comment.